Flow is a measure that describes the throughput of a road. You can think of yourself as standing beside a road and you're measuring the vehicles passing by you. This is a measure of flow. It's measured in vehicles per hour or on a per lane basis as vehicles per hour per travel lane. It's a function of both the travel demand and the capacity of the road. So on the demand side, this is the amount of drivers and vehicles who desire to travel on a road, and it's the most important factor until that road approaches capacity. And at the point the road approaches capacity or the number of vehicles on the road approaches capacity, then the capacity is gonna limit the flow. Our equation for flow, Q equals N divided by T, where Q is the traffic flow in vehicles per hour. N is the number of vehicles passing a specified point in time T and T is that duration of the time interval. We can also look at the flow when the time period is less than one hour. In that case, Q, which is our flow, the equivalent hourly traffic flow in vehicles per hour is equal to N times 3600 divided by T, where N is the number of vehicles passing a specified point in T seconds, and T is the duration of the time interval in seconds. So our 3600 is our conversion of 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So that's our 3600 unit there. The traffic density is equal to K equals N divided by L, where K is the traffic density in vehicles per distance, which is typically, for example, vehicles per mile. N is the number of vehicles occupying part of the roadway during that specified time, and L is the length of the roadway. The headway is another useful way to examine the flow of the road, and this is the time interval between consistent points on successive vehicles. For example, the time from the front bumper of one vehicle to the front bumper of the vehicle just behind it. And we have an equation for our headway, so we're looking at T, the duration of the travel or the time interval. This is the sum of the time headways of each vehicle, starting at one and up to the total number of vehicle headways. We can look at headway and flow also. So we have Q, which is our traffic flow, is equal to N, which is the number of vehicle headways, divided by the summation of our time headways, which is also equal to one divided by H bar, which is the average time headway. So Q equals one divided by the average time headway. So let's take a look at an example. This is a flow calculation. We're told we have an average headway of 4.5 seconds. We're asked to find the volume of this roadway in vehicles per hour. So to solve this, we're gonna use our equation Q equals one divided by the average headway. So Q equals one divided by 4.5 seconds per vehicle. We need to do a conversion there uh, to make this hourly, so one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. And so our Q is one divided by 0 0.00125 hours per vehicle, which is 800 vehicles per hour. So our answer is A. Density is a measure which describes the amount of vehicles on a section of roadway. And it's typically measured in vehicles per mile per lane or vehicles per kilometer per lane. The spacing is a useful way to determine the density of a road, and the spacing is related to the headway, but it's based on distance instead of time. So when we're talking about spacing, we're looking at the distance between those consecutive points on successive vehicles. For instance, the distance from the front bumper of one vehicle to the front bumper of the next. So again, that's very similar to headway, but headway is looking at a time component instead of the distance component. The average spacing is related to the density with this following equation where the spacing is equal to, and this is for uh, English units, 5,280 feet per mile divided by the density in vehicles per mile per lane. And that's the spacing in feet. So as an example, we're told that the average spacing is 210 feet and we're asked to find the density in vehicles per mile. So we're gonna use our equation, the spacing is 5,280 feet per mile divided by the density. So 210 feet per vehicle, that was our given, is equal to 5,280 feet per mile divided by the density. So we're gonna take this equation, we're gonna rearrange it. 
So we're going to multiply each side by the density to get the density on the left side. Now we're going to divide each side by 210 feet per vehicle to leave the density only on the left side. So we have the density equals 5280 feet per mile divided by 210 feet per vehicle equals 25.1 vehicles per mile. And that is answer B.